original occupation back many years ago was as a sleeper cutter, a railway sleeper cutter in Red Gum Forest. It was an interesting transition from being involved in that to becoming the founding director of an inner urban environment centre. There's no plain sailing for the Port Phillip Baykeeper, I can assure you. A big part of it though is actually getting community involved in recording what's going on in the environment. So citizen science to me is a key measure of engaging with the community and getting them to be able to tell a story about what's happening over time. So I could be out looking for noodles, doing a beach audit for microplastics or training a group of scouts in how to do street audits. I'm just so impressed by nature and, and all of the good things that it does provide with us. I just think that we need to, to really care for that because it is the future. If we don't look after the environment, then there is no future. Now that's not really an option. What we do is about community development. We need to communicate. So various communication skills are really the key to actually engaging and getting people in on board. Uh, if, we, if we can't do that well, then it's not going to happen, you know. So uh, there's a whole range, whether it's being able to operate a camera or to do video editing, editing uh, uh, writing, graphic communications, but, uh, and also just um, scientific analysis of data, you know, so there's a very wide range of things that can be done. But all of those things need to be communicated well. So that's something that I would be very much uh, encourage uh, young people to consider, is just improving their, their range of communication skills so that they can uh, really connect with and, and get people on board. What I'm excited about is the number of young people who are a lot smarter than me who are actually getting involved and really making change and they're actually shaping their future. That's what we need to see and it, it is happening.